At Explorers, uh, the guides and the technical staff are always there to pitch in and help each other out. As I'm both a guide and assistant actress at the aquarium, I spend time both talking with the public and also getting my hands dirty behind the scenes with the Aquarist team as well. When we first come in in the morning, our first task of the day is to help out Tanya and all the other technical staff in the seal sanctuary. The seals, depending on how many we have, can be fed anywhere up to around four times a day. So, depending on how busy the sanctuary is, I could be required to either clean out hospital pens, um, maybe possibly hand feed the seal pups, or blend up some fish soup for tube feeding of the less healthy seals. Before the front doors to the aquarium open every morning, it's essential to make sure that all the tanks are healthy and in working order and ready to be viewed by the public. So immediately after the seals are fed, we have to do a quick check of every tank in the aquarium just to make sure all the fish and the animals are doing okay and the tanks look okay for the public to see. All of the water that comes into the aquarium is pulled in from Strangford Loch and because of that we do get animals coming in with the water supply and we also get quite a lot of plant material coming in too. Obviously we don't want that flowing into the tanks so we filter all of the water before it goes into the aquarium tanks. Every morning we then have to go and just flush the water backwards through the filters just to remove any big particles that are lodged in there. And we also check our filter baskets just to make sure any animals that may have been pulled up with the water from Strangford Loch can it then be released from the filter baskets and put to safety in one of our backup tanks. So although we've had a quick look at the aquarium tanks in the morning, we do have to then go and take a more in-depth check of the tanks um, after we've opened the aquarium. Um, at that time, we record things like the temperature of the tanks. Uh, we look at to make sure the tanks have a fresh water supply and that the glass is nice and clean so that people can see and, and see the exhibits. Uh, we then make a list at the same time um, of any work that's needing done to the displays, such as cleaning or moving animals around. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we feed all the fish in the aquarium. So in the morning, it's necessary to remove all the food that we need to defrost for feeding later on in the afternoon. Um, so we feed our fish a mixture of frozen squid. We give them mackerel, um, mussel meat and sand deal, which we chop up to a variety of different sizes for all the different sizes of fish that we have. Um, it has pretty unique aroma, which takes a little bit of getting used to and can sort of stick to your clothes for a while after fish feeding. So sometimes we do go home smelling a little bit of fish. When I'm not feeding the fish, I'm helping the technical staff with any work that might need to be done to the displays, which normally means cleaning. We get an awful lot of plant growth in our tanks and this has got to be regularly scrubbed off just to allow the public to see the displays as they should be seen. But we might also be redesigning tanks or moving animals from one part of the aquarium to another. The other side of my job at Explorers would be guiding, which is essentially talking to the public when they come in, um, giving occasional public tours and answering any questions that people might have about the animals. We have two discovery pool tanks at the aquarium where we give regular interactive demonstrations to groups and visitors. These happen throughout the day and they give our visitors an opportunity to see some of our animals up close and get the opportunity to touch some of the animals as well. So during these demonstrations, I'm responsible for ensuring the well-being of the animals in the tank, as well as giving our visitors any information they would like to know about the animals that we have in the tank, which include rays, dogfish, starfish and sea urchins. We often have groups come into the aquarium, particularly young school groups, and as well as getting their own discovery pool demonstration, a guide will also give the group a tour of the building and will highlight the different animals that we have on display. On some occasions, school groups will also choose to visit the local shore down in Portaferry, uh, where myself and the other guides can help the children to find local species on the beach and hopefully give them appreciation for our local wildlife while encouraging them to get their hands dirty in rock pools and amongst seaweed at the same time. So there's always plenty of tasks to keep us busy at Explorus, whether I'm feeding seals, cleaning displays, feeding the fish, 
visiting the beach or giving guided tours, the variety of work needing to be done that makes Explorers a really unique and interesting place to work.